This project starts over at the mitre saw, cutting the boards to the length, adding painters tape to the cut line helps to reduce tear out. At the table saw I cut these boards down to the desired width. And setting up a stop block at the cross cut, I cut these down to the required length. Again, I'm adding painter's tape to the cut marks to help reduce that tear out. Taking a 2x4, I set the blade height to halfway, make a cut, flip over and repeat. This helps to reduce the load on the motor and on the blade. At the bandsaw I've made a quick mark on the board just to add a bit of a profile to those feet. Okay, so the way that this works is on the side of your dowel master you've got this line here and that represents the centre of the hole and what I've done now is I've, marked, I've worked out what the centre of the, the board is I'm going to drill into, in this case it's the foot and I've set this adjustable depth stop here so that when I put the board on and push it up that line now is on the same line as the centre line of my, um, of my workpiece and I've got three holes, I've got an 8mm, a 10mm and a 6mm. I've got my drill bit set, I've also got a depth stop ring um, attached to it so that it goes down just about over halfway of the length of the 8mm dowel and that will give a little bit of room for the glue. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drill two holes. You don't need to measure where these are going to go because you're going to use these holes that you do lay in here first to transfer the board to the board later. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. So first of all, I'm just going to drill two holes. Okay, so now it's time to transfer those locations over to the upright board. Clean the drill bit. Okay, so I've adjusted the the depth stop here to exactly half of the width of this board, and that just makes sure that my hole is in the middle of the board and it doesn't end up splitting. So that when I push that over, it's going to be on. And what I'm going to use now is these end parts here of the drill size <coughs> as a location. <coughs> so we're going to push that over like so. Make sure that my fence, my adjustable fence on the tool, is right up against my workpiece. Hold that steady and drill. Okay, so if I take the clamps off now. Time for the test is, do they all line up? Perfect. And now that I've got all the holes drilled, it's time to start assembly. I'm going to start with the swing out gates. I'm going to add some glue to the uprights. Hammer in a few dowels. And we're going to add some glue to the other parts as well. I'm going to also add glue to the end grains here. Now I know it is end grain. And I know the argument against it, but every little helps, yeah?
and the main carcass of the table is a little bit tricky to assemble with having parts front and back and trying to get those swing gates into place proved to be a little bit challenging but once it was all done I left this in clamps overnight for the glue to dry Uh, to make the table tops I take the four boards and I'm going to add dowels to these to join them all together. I need four boards together in total to make each side. So drill the four holes and add in a bit of glue and hammer in those four dowels. I'll just marry up the next board next to that and clamp in place. And then I can use the dowel master to locate the pins and I drill the corresponding holes. Add glue to the surfaces and then I'm going to hammer that together. Once the top is all glued together I can then put that into some clamps overnight and compress those up, make those joints nice and tight. And I'm going to add some clamps to the end at the join points. Adding some duct tape around the cowls will help to prevent those pieces being stuck together with the wood glue overnight. So the next day I cut a curve in each of the corner, I use the cut off from the first one to transfer that mark to the other side and that keeps it all matchy. On to staining now, I'm going to give it one coat of the walnut satin finish by Ron Seal. I'm just going to brush that on using the paintbrush. You get a nice even spread. Once the stain is dry, I'm going to apply some walnut varnish to this. And I'm going to sand at 320 grit in between each coat. 
Now the more varnish you put on, the darker this piece will go. So this piece got five coats in total. On the other side of those tops, I use a makeshift jig to hollow out the mortise for the hinges and some chisel work at the corners makes those hinges fit properly. And then I stay in the bottom of that board as well. Using a self sensor and drill bit, I can pre drill the boards for the hinges and I'm going to add half inch screws to secure in place. Now to attach the tops to the frame, I'm going to use these L brackets. I'm going to pre drill and add half inch screws to keep it all secure. I'll put six of these on in total. Now I can flip the frame of this upside down and add it to the board so I can centre that up. I'll add half inch screws through those L brackets to the frame to the top and that's all the project, it's done. Guys, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I did. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I have lost about a week um, because I've been sick, um, and today's actually the first day I could actually get back in and actually finish assembling the table. Um, and I'm proper pleased with how it's turned out. Um, I'm pleased with the process. It looks exactly like the design I had, and everything's gone according to plan. So it's a win. Happy days! So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, um, I might have some plans for this available if anybody's interested let me know. Uh, down in the description you will find my email and also my Instagram account which is Andy underscore Elliot 1262. Um, or you can email me, whichever you want to do, contact me anyway. Um, if anybody's got any comments feel free to leave them down below, I try and do my best to get back in touch with all of them. I um, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So when I do upload a new video you'll get the notification. Um, I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy, see you soon, bye.